finally, new rule from now until Election Day, everything else, every issue, every fight, every cause, has to take a backseat to defeating Trump. Mm. He's like an infection, you don't fool around with it. <laughs> Look. We all have our issues that are important to us, and so just to lead by example, let me say that I will take my own close-to-the-heart pet cause, pot legalization, off the table. And you know me, I have seeds in my urine. <laughs> But if... <laughs> you know that. But if someone... <laughs> if someone told me that pushing for pot might cost Hillary Ohio until November 8th, I'm just gonna shut the fuck up about it. <laughs> now... <clears throat> I know liberals are feeling pretty good about Hillary's chances this week, but history has taught us that Democrats are pretty good at blowing elections, and Republicans are masters at winning elections, with solutions in search of a problem. And the problem they're imagining lately is that the transgendered, or sex fiends pretending to be transgendered, roam America's restrooms in drag, <laughs> looking for a chance to watch people pee. <laughs> okay, here's what we can't do this election. Get tricked into symbolic fights about college campus pet peeves. Hillary, if someone asks you if Christmas is unfair to the, dis to the disabled because the reindeer laugh at Rudolph's nose, <laughs> just say, I don't care. <laughs> I know, we're liberals, and there's an infinite list of ideas for making the world better by making it less like Duck Dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> But there's no room for boutique issues in an Armageddon election. And look, I, I, I'm... I'm on the side of people peeing where they want. It's an inalienable right. I believe it was Patrick Henry who once said, nobody beats the whiz. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not suggesting that we throw the transgendered under the bus or discount their struggle. It can't be easy finding pantyhose when you're 6'4". <laughs> <laughs> but this is exactly the kind of culture war issue that rousts a certain type of voter out of their trailers on election day. <laughs> As we speak, Ann Coulter is finishing a new book called Urination, <laughs> How Liberals Are Giving It to America in the Can. <laughs> Let's not die on this hill, because I've seen this movie before. In the 2000 election, Al Gore distanced himself from a very successful Clinton administration because the Republicans made it seem like every time Monica blew Clinton, he was holding her hair. And then there was 2004, when George W. Bush got caught invading the wrong country, so they changed the issue to gay marriage, because this was before gay marriage was popular. Even in 2008, Obama was still saying this. I believe that marriage uh, is the union between a man and a woman. Now, did he say that because he meant it? No. He just wanted the distraction off the table to make sure a meth head didn't wind up a heartbeat away <laughs> from the Oval Office. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, to most people, elections are about jobs and college and terrorism, not social issues. And the people who lead on social issues aren't in Washington anyway. They're here in Hollywood. This transgender thing, let us handle it. <laughs> like we did with gay rights, which very few cared about until Hollywood put gay people in every single TV show. <laughs> until America not only came to accept gays, they began to wonder if anyone in high school wasn't gay. <laughs> Now, 
We hit him with Glee and Ellen and Will and Grace and Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, and pretty soon being gay was just part of our modern family. We have... We have a long history of mainstreaming non-traditional families. Punky Brewster lived with an old man for some reason. <laughs> and we didn't ask and we didn't tell. <laughs> Same with Major Nelson, who kept his girlfriend in a jar. This is what we're good at. And we've already begun to do it for the transgendered with the Danish girl and Dallas Buyers Club and Transparent. And of course, there's Caitlyn Jenner, who has already showed Americans that a transgendered person could be just like them, a deluded nitwit who supports Donald Trump. 